Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about tapered tangs. How to make a tapered tang and all the things you need to know. Let's get at it. So here's the knife that we're working with. This is uh, about a nine inch um, chef knife. Uh, it is CPM 154 stainless steel, so it's already been heat treated. So now we're going to do the tapered tang. And why do you want a tapered tang in a knife like this? Um, so instead of weight reduction um, by drilling a bunch of holes, we're just gonna taper the tang uh, to the end. So it'll be very, very thin at the end and it'll gradually get wider as we get to here. And it just looks cool uh, when you see it on the handle. There are some tricky parts when we get to drilling the pins and we'll do that after. And yes, I said this is hardened. Uh, I did forget to drill the uh, pin holes, so we're going to go do those on the mill with a carbide bit. Uh, to do the tapered tang, the easiest way to do this is with a surface grinding attachment. Uh, and if you don't have a surface grinding attachment, go check out this um, link in the top. Build your own for about $400, and it has this cool tapering feature, and that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So I did my holes. Um, I had to oversize them a little bit just because that was the only uh, ball end mill that I had. <laughs> um, but that's fine because I'll just drill through those. Uh, I also uh, went to the surface grinder and thinned this out to my almost my final thickness. So now we're going to do the taper. So if we look at our, um, our attachment for our 2x72, you'll notice that it's got one that's got a channel in it. And that's because we can remove this one and raise this. So then we're gonna put our knife here, and since now this thing is angled, we'll put it up just, and I, I've marked a center line, we're gonna put it up not even that much, not even half of this. And then we gotta do both sides, we're gonna to have to put it up again to do the other side. But that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now I've got this. Remember, you don't need the whole thing. Uh, you're just measuring it on how much you want to taper. So I'm making sure this is up by about half of this between here and here. Just a reminder about our sponsor, Maritime Knife Supply. If you need steel, pins, you name it for knife making, they have it. That's where I get all my stuff. Go check them out. Links down in the description. So I've ground the one side. Um, you can see it's tapered quite a bit. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So now we need to raise the, um, uh, the surface of the grinder just a little bit. And I've had people ask me um, why that is. So I figured I would just demonstrate here. So let's assume that this is the plane of travel and this is your raised, the surface of the surface grinder, like the, the taper. And this is our piece of steel. And it's gonna sit on the surface grinder like this. And then it's gonna move this way and we're gonna grind off this piece. So let's just fold this over to simulate this. Okay, so it's going to grind off this piece on the top here. So now, if we just took that on the same thing and just laid it like this, look what happens. This and this are the same height. So if you pass this over the surface grinder, you're doing nothing. And if you just move it up, you're just gonna take an equal amount. So we actually have to raise this up, this up again the same amount in order to get that taper. And if you're curious how I do this to get the same angle, what I'll do is measure this um, with some calipers and I'll use the end of the caliper. This is your depth. Um, 
so here it's measuring 0.57 okay for me uh, yeah point point oh six yeah so point oh six then I'm just gonna double that to be point one two and then I should have the right depth so now we've got our taper tang you can see how it tapers at the end and it's perfectly centered um, over that center line so the next challenge is the pinholes alright so how are we gonna fix this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little shim put a shim under here first we'll put this under here and then we're going to put a shim to raise this up so that basically this tang is sitting like this okay so we'll put something under here just to make just to make up for this then we're gonna drill through here so we'll get a line like this at this angle okay now we need to drill through this so we're just gonna flip this over same thing we're gonna take our shim now put it under here and just drill through this same hole through the other side. Now we're going to have a perfect, perfect line, pin line, through these two that will match up and we'll go through our tang. Well, that sounded more complicated than it really needed to be. I just placed a piece of copper that was about half the thickness of the thinnest part of the tang underneath the end of the tang, drilled the hole in one scale, then added the second scale and drilled the holes through that. So here's the finished knife. Um, we take a look at the uh, tapered tang. Uh, I could have even made it a little thinner at the back, um, but uh, you know, my first one, I'd know next time to go even a little thinner, but uh, I like it, it looks really good. So that is the finished piece for uh, my son and his wife.